Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing Francy Pants in the Achievement Series of Europa Universalis 4. And I'm failing with my words today. So please to be bear with me. Uh, we can go through this together. Everybody can win and be happy. Uh, first thing we're going to do is declare war on Burgundy. I know I was talking about getting the unions over Castile, Aragon, and Naples. We may still do that, but the first and foremost thing is to finish getting our cores, and I really want to kill the Burgundian king, because that son of a bitch, he's been living for too long. He's been living for more than 50 years now. I mean, it's probably a different guy, but still. So we're looking at... Um... They do have an army, right? Did I just miss it? I must have missed it. There it is. They have 31,000 guys with 9,000 manpower. So we are going to roll them. We don't have a lot of units, but oh my god, do we have manpower. They are going to build units like all crazy. The biggest advantage we have right now is they have like no allies. Cleves, Cologne, and the Palatinate. Who cares about them, right? The Palatinate. Uh, they are what? Four province minor, Cleves, two province minor, and Cologne, three province minor. I'm just not worried about them. Why are you in a coalition? Coalition against Hesse? Really? Yeah, there's a four person coalition against Hesse. Wow. Okay then. Uh, who's your vassals? Uh, Ansbach and Potter. Wow, Austria is going pretty quick. Okay, well, Scotland, do you want to be a vassal? Just checking. Not even close. Uh, distance between borders, negative 75. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well, let's uh, recruit some more derp skis. Oh, we don't have money. Hmm. Well, what, what's our our units right now? 35 and 10. So basically, we just need some cannons. So we do need to save up some cash. All right, we'll give it maybe four or five months before we go to war. Let's build some cannons. We'll be good to go. Disloyal Cardinal. We have ways of making you loyal. This derp. There we go. Three out of the five. Oh, oh that one's Munster. I thought it was Sweden for a second, but that's actually Munster. Munster, Sweden, and France have very similar flags. We can tech up our Diplo tech. Should we do that now? Hmm, sure. Okay. We're not ahead of time or anything, so that's fine. Anti-Piracy Act. This will be better relations over time, until the end of the game. I like that. Uh, spread our culture to Modena. Save the Cosmopolitans in Picardy. Oh, yeah. Well, that that is what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, we'll take that. Wow. Five whole prestige. What is the point of taking this mission? When we go to war and we take Picardy, we're going to get, like, 80 prestige from all the battles and the and the peace deal. I don't understand. It's so, so silly. Someone has invited me to play Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I don't have Counter-Strike. But thanks. Onward. Onward. Make sure we group up our units. Where is my military? Down here. Let's go north. Sit in... You know, I don't know. Go to Orléans and uh, Co. Someone told me to pronounce it Co, not Cow. But, um... It's, it's cow. I'm American, I know these things, okay? Like this is Champagne, and you can, you can tell it's Champagne because it's a G. Yo, G. Anywho, um, do we need this fleet? Yeah, we might as well. It's probably bigger than the Burgundian fleet, so we'll use it. And keep on recruiting. What do they cost to recruit? We're looking at uh, 31 ducats. All right, fine, fine with me. Yeah, we have so much manpower compared to Burgundy. They are just... 10,000 manpower. What a joke. Alright, let's declare war. Let's see how it goes. Hey, bro. Bro? I want my cores back. And look who's going to join me. Everyone, except Portugal. Can we invite Portugal? No. What is it? Distance? Distant war. Negative 96. Ah, it's too bad. It's okay, though. Uh, why don't we head up to Alencon? 
And we have generals. We have two generals. We have a, a 1 4 and a 2 1. Alright, fine by me. Slow down time to speed 3. And let's go to Picardy. It's going to be glorious. Okay, so Austria is on our side. Austria broke their alliance with the Platinate to go to this war. I appreciate that, Austria. And uh, Portugal, you still call it distant war. Yeah, that's the problem. A lot of times, if you go to war with... Let, let's say we went to war with Burgundy, and we had an alliance with, I don't know, Poland. Poland would probably say, no, that's too far away, so we're not going to join your war. However, if Burgundy was allied with Hungary or Bohemia or something, someone that Poland is next to, and then that person joined the war against me, then Poland would say, oh, I can fight this guy right next to me, rather than having to walk all the way to Burgundy. So then they'll join the war. But Portugal, on the other hand, is always going to be separate from the rest of Europe. Sort of like the way Scotland is up there, you know? It's just so far away. Oh, wow. By, by Norway. It's just so far away that um, if they're not going to join the war before you declare, then they probably won't join it after you declare. But oh well. Castile's joined on our side. We have a, a good alliance on our side. So we're just going to go invade, and we'll get the provinces we want, and uh, they can attack us if they wish. Which they probably will. 31,000 guys is not very scary, though. Although they are standing right there all together, all grouped up, ready for the show. Like the prize pig. I wonder why they're all standing there. Uh, I bet we have more morale than they do. They have tech 7. Oh, they have 787. We have 787. We have the same tech. Hmm. Do I have a morale advisor? No. Can I get a morale advisor? Oh, I could if I had... 25 ducats. I'm going to take a loan. Get a morale advisor. Because that will help my army. Totally worth it. Okay, we have 5.8 morale, and he only has 4 morale. Hee 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 hee. Yeah, France gets so many bonuses for morale, it's, it's obscene. Aragon, did you put us as a rival again? No. Well, whatever. And we're improving relations with Portugal? Yeah. Alright. Still has a pretender issue here, yeah. Very interesting. We could wind up in a personal union without anything happening if his heir just dies or whatever. Uh, Austria, still von Habsburg, yeah. I would love to see some Valois just sort of spread all over the place. That'd be cute. But it looks like it's just Castile, you know. Everyone else is their own dynasty. That's fine. Kill them all. They're losing so many more. Yeah, we lost uh, 10,000. They lost, well, more than that. Uh, running to Vlanderin. Except they're going to run beyond that. So, we'll kind of stick in the area, if you know what I mean. And just kill whatever while we siege. This is when it's nice to have all this manpower, is we can regroup. They can't. They'll recover one time, and then they're going to be relying on mercenaries from that point on. So they're kind of boned when it comes to um, warfare. Sucks to be them. And if I can find their army that contains the king, we're going to hit it as many times as we can. King of Burgundy must die. Cardinal Disloyal. Hey, back here, punk. Sweden has a cardinal coming. All right. I guess I don't have to be the card, the carrier controller. I just like it, you know. I like having that extra diplomat. It's really nice. Here comes my vassal Brittany. Thank you, Brittany. So he's already back up to twenty-seven. In other words, he's burned through probably all of his manpower. Does manpower show in here? I don't think so. No, but we can check real quick. Manpower. No, he's down to 8,000. So he's regrouped a little bit, probably with mercenaries, if he's not burning manpower. Diplomat. Diplomat. Dip, 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 diplomat. Croatia loves us. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're going to peacefully vassalize some of these guys, huh? Uh, Tuscany, we can probably do. And they have some cores, right? They have one core. What about you? 
Nobody really has any cores. It's really disappointing here. All right, we'll, we'll do Tuscany. We can at least feed them that one core pizza. And Burgundy's got what? Rebel problems? Peasants. Yeah. Oh, Castile. Pleased to be leaving my dude alone. So yeah, this is a very easy achievement to get, which is nice. You just kind of play France for a little while and get your cores back. And it's nice. It's relaxing. It, France is one of the best nations to play if you just want to have a relaxing game. Because it's kind of like easy mode, you know? No one's really going to bother you. And if they do, you can usually beat them up. So, yeah. I mean, this is the war. That is the war. And on our side, it looks like almost nothing, you know? Okay, those two have fallen. Please to be move on. Scotland is helping siege. Thank you, Scotland. We'll move on to King Bray. Um, where's the king? What's the king's name today? Today it is King Francois I. He's 31. Where are you, kingy? Francois I. Jean d'Oxy. You de Cuiseau. I don't see him. He may not be leading troops, and if he's not... Whoa! What the hell? The sieges are gone. Oh, I had it in diplomatic mode. I'm an idiot. Did I mention I'm an idiot? I'm an idiot. Derp. It's crisscross in diplomatic mode because I have cores there. Sometimes I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, sometimes. What an understatement. Come on, Burgundy. Bring it. Nope, you're just going to siege stuff. All right, you do that. Yep, Twitch chat noticed before I did. <laughs> That's okay, though. Hey, leave him alone, Cat Steel. Shit's mine, dog. No? He's still not leading these armies. He may have an army somewhere else. Like, he might be following one of the other guys around with that stack. Or he might not be leading troops at all, which would be very disappointing. But I guess it's possible. Okay, he wants to play in... Artois. Alright. Can do. He's driving on the 10th. Alright. On the 9th we will go. On the 9th. Oh, now, now he's on the 12th. Alright. No. Oh, now he's bringing everyone. Okay. I'm going to be defending, so I should be fine. Come on, bitch. Nope, he changed his mind. They're completely going away. Okay. Oh, AI. I wish I could understand you. I really do. But it's not possible, is it, to understand you? All right, 33 attacking 49. Good luck. How's that working out for you, Burgundy? Come on, put your, put your king in an army for me so I can kill him. Please. Uh, let's go chase him. I don't know where he's going to go, though. I'm going this way. Oh, we can bulb something. What is it? Oh, the last economic idea. Ooh, sure. Uh, Dissolution Act. Stability cost is cheaper. Sure, why not? And we might as well take that mission to take Picardy, because, well, we're there. 
Oh, we have an extra diplomat. We must have finished our embassy. Was I building the embassy somewhere? Probably. No? Um, I'm a little confused. We have not built the embassy, or else it would show. Well, then where did the last diplomat come from? Maybe it was an event diplomat? I don't know. I should pay more attention to events, but I don't. They're just, you know, whatever. Yes, squish him separately. They split up and we squish one. Good. Get the other one too. Still don't see the king. I mean, he's... He doesn't have to lead troops, but the AI usually does lead troops. Especially Burgundy. Okay, they squished. So Burgundy has no troops at all. Let's go to Antwerp and hurt their economics. Oh, the monster dude got in. The monster dude got in. The monster dude got in. Hi-ho, the Dario. The monster dude got in. All right. We built it in Orléans, eh? We did? How do you remember these things? So we finished that, that's why we have an extra different... How do you remember these things, everyone? Damn. I didn't remember that. We did build it. See, I thought, if we had already built it, I thought it would tell me... Oh, there it goes. It does tell me you may only have one of this building. Hmm. You know what it should do is it should tell you you already have one of this building and then where you have it. In EU3, it told you where you had it. Oh, look at me, comparing a game to its predecessor. Please tell me the general, I mean, the king is in this army. No, he's not. Damn it. Okay, free Diplo. Who wants cookies? How are you doing with your air, by the way? Still a shitty air. Good. How are you doing? Whoa! Austria has us as hostile. What? Why? We're allies. We love each other, plus 200. I'm going to put relations up with you just in case. Why Why would they go a hostile all of a sudden? And I also read this as anarchy, by the way. I don't know why, Archduchy. Why are they hostile? What in the hell? We're allied in a war. We're allies outside the war. We're helping each other. We're, we're good buddies. Maybe he's upset that um, joining this war caused him to lose his alliance with the Palatinate. But... It's not my fault you allied with someone dumb. I'm the only... Oh, there he is. Francois the First. I see him. Oh, God. Yes. Squish him. I see you, Francois. I see you, Francois. Kill him. There he is. Oh, oh, no, changed, it, he changed the general. There he is. He moved the general over there. Okay, get him. He's trying to get his king to safety. He changed the general again. Ah, oh, he took the king out. Oh, there he is. He's back. The king is back. Get him. Yes. Did the king die? No. Fuck. Francois de Burgundy. But he didn't die. He needs to die. I'll keep an eye on him. I'm going to sit in Breda. There he is. I see him. Holland. Nope, he moved. Oh, well, we're already fighting.
And there goes Cleve's army. <sighs> Francois, I must find Francois. Pleased to be Francois. Now he's not hostile anymore. What the hell, Austria? We can be friends. You don't gotta be like that, bro. Bro! <laughs> I love that I can claim Castile's throne. Oh, man. Can you imagine? That would only piss off every single nation that I have and that I have a marriage with, which is a lot. Oh, there's Francois. I see you, Francois. Don't you run from me. He's still there. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill Francois. He didn't die. Fuck. King of Burgundy needs to die. Stupid little jerk. You jerk. There he is. I see you, Francois. And Picardy is done. Move on. Go get Francois. You are his valet today. <laughs> Hold up a little sign. Francois the first. He's, he's running away. He's like, no. <laughs> Please to be, don't kill me. But you must die. It is a fact. Gotcha, bitch. Please die. He didn't die. Oh, he changed the general at the last second. He's like, oh, they're coming for me. I better change my general. Oh, God damn it, Francois. I love how Cat Steel is over here trying to get their own little Spanish, uh, whatever it's called, Spanish Holland going on. It's pretty pro. Spanish Netherlands. There's Francois. Alright. Francois. Today is the day you die. S.A. Damn it, he didn't die. He needs to fucking die. Brabant wants access. Of course you can have access, Brabant. In fact, you want to be my vassal? After this war, we'll probably share a border. You want to be my vassal? He's like, nope. Uh, Palatinate wants to annul treaties with Burgundy. Oh, Austria is beating him up. Well, Palatinate, let's talk peace first. You know, 24%, that's pretty good. No, it's not. It's not very much, really. Uh, you want to get rid of your alliance with Burgundy and Austria? I think that'd be good. Austria don't need no more allies. He's got me. That's good enough. I'm, the, I'm that creepy boyfriend of Austria. She don't need nobody else. You could return cores to Würzburg. That'd probably be a good idea, actually. But Würzburg is a vassal. Yeah, don't worry about it. You're good. Okay. Goodbye, Palatinate. Palatinate. Where's Francois? I need to find Fran I need like a homing beacon on Francois. Yes, long battles. I believe the way it works is if they're on the battlefield, which they sometimes are, then there's a chance every day of the battle 
for them to die. Small chance. But uh, we haven't got lucky with that. And this is not the first time we've been fighting the King of Burgundy. We've fought him in numerous battles over the years and just been unlucky with him dying. Anyway, we're doing to end this episode. Thanks for joining me today. I have been Chen. You have been you. Come back next time. We will peace out. Burgundy, if the king dies, long live the king. That'd be great. I would love to get all of the uh, French lands that way. But uh, otherwise, we'll just do it through this war. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.